three in signal for the central nervous system. This is not what we're focusing on tonight, okay? But the vocabulary is good to use. What we're gonna focus on is motor. So I'm gonna attach a nerve to the ventral side. All the cell bodies in a motor nerve are gonna be within the gray matter. So all the axons here just make a nerve. It is motor, which means the signal is going away from the central nervous system. And we're gonna say this is somatic. So what type of muscles are we contracting if it's somatic? Skeletal, okay, the ones you had memorized. Okay, this is what we contract to interact with the outside world. Is this voluntary or involuntary? Voluntary. voluntary. Very good. Okay. So now let's make another slice of the spinal cord. And again, we're just going to look at motor responses. So we have one here. These are cell bodies. Here are axons. Okay. So let's look at what happens when we have an involuntary response to our internal organs. So what happens is you actually have two nerves or two axons, however you want to think of it, connected together. The first one is going to stop. And then the second one starts at the ganglia that begins the next one. Okay. So ganglia, again, just refers to cell bodies within the peripheral nervous system. Ganglia. Okay. So finally we get to the end and we innervate an internal organ like your heart. Okay. So what would we call this type of response? Is this voluntary or involuntary? Involuntary. involuntary. What's this word that starts with letter V that means internal organ? Visceral. Visceral. Good. Okay. So a couple of things going on here. It's still a motor pathway because it's exiting at the front of the spinal cord. Okay. But if it's voluntary, we're going to the skeletal muscle. We call that somatic. If it's involuntary, it's visceral to the internal organ. And we have two different nerves or axons, however you want to think of it. Okay. 